A Toronto woman is confined to a hospital bed in Trinidad after falling off a cliff. Alyssa Antonio says doctors there don't have the skill to treat her injuries and she needs to return to Canada immediately for surgery. She did not have travel insurance, so a fundraising effort is underway to raise the $50,000 needed for an air ambulance. Many people to thank that no, wor no words can express how I'm feeling. It was just overwhelming to see how much people are doing and some people are doing for someone they don't even know. Antonio's family and friends have launched a GoFundMe page to help get her back. With us this morning is a close friend of Elissa's, Aubrey Clark, who is spearheading the fundraising effort to get her back to Canada. Thank you for coming in. This is just so horrifying. So she was out with family members. Yes. And it was, you know, like in the evening. And yes. What happened? They were they were hanging out at the beach all day, and it started to get dark. So they decided to light a campfire at the top of the area overlooking the beach, yeah. where people normally go and look down. Then she went for a walk to get more firewood, and she was using her cell phone flashlight. It was really dark because in the country there's no street lights, right? Right, and she couldn't really see, and she walked right off of the cliff. It's and so she has obviously very serious and horrific injuries, some of which can't even properly be diagnosed there. Right, because uh, the CT scan in the hospital isn't working. So it's been 14 days, and she hasn't even had a CT scan yet. Which is and scary. she could have internal injuries. Yes, she could be bleeding internally, and we wouldn't know. You can tell by her stomach. It's you extended. Know, right, it's extended. Right, so there's a lot of inflammation, and if you know anything about pelvic injuries, if they're not treated right away, it could lead to pneumonia and other complications, other infections. So it's very important that we get her back right away. This is why we're raising. She can't the funds. move. No, she can't. She can't even wipe herself. So she's in tears. She actually wakes up screaming, thinking that she's falling. That's how horrific it is for her. So she doesn't have or didn't have travel insurance. No. She which didn't. is always the, you know, right. Right. the lesson learned, except it's, you know, for, but right now you've got this fundraising campaign because it's going to cost a lot of money to bring her back. Yeah, it's costing us about $50,000, wow. give or take. Yes, we've gotten several quotes, but then the quotes always say that more costs can arise. Along, well, of course, oh, right. right? Along the way. But right. you've had a good response. Yes, we had an amazing response. So five and a half day, we've, days, we've managed to raise about $48,000 so far. Oh, my goodness. Right. And but, as you said, it could go well over 50, depending on who's, you know, the air ambulance right, company right, and whatnot right, to bring her right. back. And she's got two young daughters. Yes, she does. Uh, it's, it's pretty emotional because everybody at school is walking up to her daughter saying, oh, I'm sorry to hear about your mother. The other day, their father had to go to the school and pick one of them up because she just broke down in the middle of school. So it's, it's heart-wrenching. How old are they? Uh, I think in 12, 12 yeah. 15. Young. Yeah, they're pretty um, young. And so at this stage, Aubrey, does it look like you know, depending on the money, you'd be able to get her home in the next little while? Well, or? I'm negotiating with the air ambulance company for proof of funds because GoFundMe takes three to seven days to transfer the money. So I've been sending proof of funds from the GoFundMe account over to the air ambulance. The owner uh, is in Hong Kong right now, oh unfortunately. My. So the staff is on trying hold. to get his, uh, they're trying to get his approval just to go ahead and get her without actually having the funds in hand. And in the meantime, you're trying to keep her spirits up. Right, definitely. I mean, she just broke down. She was supposed to have an interview yesterday and she just broke down crying and she couldn't, she couldn't do it. It's too much. Yeah, it, it, it is. Wow. Well, um, She's really scared. She's really afraid of what the future might hold for her if she'll be able to walk again. And the longer we take to bring her back, mm -hmm. it's the less chance that she'll have a she full recovery. Have any feeling. Right. Well, she can the feel the end. pain, but the pelvic is, you, you know, some people die from pelvic injuries, sure. right? And she, her pelvic is broken in four places. And her, and her sacrum is also fractured, where your spine connects to the back. Okay. Right. So we're going to keep in touch with you, um, Thank you and follow the campaign and, and hope the very best Godspeed for her. Thank yes. you for coming in. Thank you for having me. For people interested in helping Elissa, you will find a link that will be on our website, canadaam.ctvnews.ca.